Hello friends and welcome back. Today we're going to do a quick pick a card reading on which chakra is blocked. Let me mix the card again a little bit. And as I do that, just tap on your karate chop point gently or hold the point so you can ground and go into your heart center so you can pick the pile that soothes you the most for this moment. How do you tap? Like this. This is the karate chop and you can do it like that or you can hold it. It's very simple. All right, let's put one card each. I hope you're having a wonderful day and that you're experiencing a great week so far. And when you're ready, if you're not, just stop the video. But when you're ready otherwise, let's get started on pile number one. Those of you who chose pile number one got the Hierophant. Ooh, you got the priest, guys. So, what does the priest say to you? Da 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 when you get this card, it means that you are seeking spiritual knowledge. The message of the sixth chakra, which is what this card represents. So that's your third eye. <laughs> Connects the fool, which is our little persona <laughs> going through the different stages to the sixth sense of our sixth chakra. So it opens the third eye. This is a window into her psychic ability. His teachings of intuitive trust will carry her forward in uncertain times. In this sixth chakra, he must teach her to see darkness and light, and she will draw on these mystical lessons in the days ahead. So the indication here is that the power of meeting a true spiritual mentor creates synchronicity and opens the path to walk alongside them and learn until you no longer need to. When it is time to become your own intuitive guide, you will know. So the keywords of this card are intuition, clairvoyance, spiritual guidance, ritual, hierarchy, knowledge, and counselor. If you want a meditation, for those of you who feel this chakra needs to be open, or maybe you're going through this chakra opening, can you recall the first time you experienced a powerful life lesson from someone outside your family of origin? This is the true power of the Hierophant, the teacher who brings your world to life. Search your memories and explore what comes to you. Who do you see? very interesting and it's very focused as well so you may have very very laser focused vision those of you who chose this pile and you may be experiencing interesting things right now let's move to number two Ooh, quite different there the two of cups what does the two of cups represent well this is the second chakra also known as the sacral which is there all the emotion sexuality this is the card of intimate connections so those of you who chose this most likely have already met or are going to meet someone in your love life the intimacy revealed in this card and the happiness of this connection appears real she wished for a true emotional connection and has created it. Is she in joy or in fear of losing it? The chakra message here is immature love creates hunger so deep that another person may only awaken pain rather than soothe it. Clinging to an inner wound manifests 
a desperation that can never be filled. So the indication here is that the true friendship that began with a powerful spark is real. It is your own self that is the magnetizing energy here. So the key words here are connection, courtship, attraction, offering, love, and marriage. So maybe in order for you to attract what you want in your love life, you need to work on opening yourself up and healing those wounds that are stopping the process. I totally understand you, by the way. <laughs> and I think many others will. So the meditation here that may be useful for you is in your mind's eye, begin to see your emotional experience of love outside of yourself. Knowing how we relate to the issue is the issue. What are you really experiencing emotionally around love and your connection with others? Is there a flow or a tightening? So the second chakra does remind us of the powerful emotions within. So choose its focus. Go within and focus on yourself and see what's truly there. The choice is yours. Again, I always advise to tap. It's my free advice. You can take it or leave it. Um, I suggest more than advice, I guess. But it always does help when we experience, especially these turmoil of emotions, to tap. Because emotional freedom techniques are just for that. All right, let's see what you chose. You who chose pile number three, the Knight of Wands. Oh, that's very nice. That's the throat chakra right there. Interesting how we got very different chakras here. And also, we, we did get different um, elements, which is nice. It's nice to have that sometimes. So, the Knight of Wands is the card of daring change. So, those of you who have chosen this, maybe going through some kind of choice to make. This Knight charges in with the crystal of magical manifesting and can move mountains with this power. If you set a clear intention, this may be its fruition. If not, the change will still be for the better, albeit more unexpected. The chakra message here is the clearer your intention, the more rapid the result. Change is in the air with a new love, job, or home. It may also be all of them because now it's pile number three, so it could be all of them. Indication. What you deem as out of the blue may have been an intention of yours for quite some time. So the keywords here are being daring, speediness, impulsiveness, extrovert, entrepreneur. The meditation you may want to look for is drop your shoulders and imagine yourself with a wand held high in the air. You're about to change into your own life and give yourself some surprising news. Breathe and write down what this powerful news is. So the contemplation here is the good news is there is always good news. So the night is about action. It's about taking action. So you can take action by speaking into action. So this um, is the throat chakra. It's the chakra that usually uh, is used by those who are manifestors <laughs> and who can speak things in reality so you're opening that chakra right now so be careful what you say and if you're gonna say negative stuff i would suggest that you tap so instead of pushing it into the reality unless it's something you want you are actually just gonna process it and let it go if it's something of negative sorts i hope you liked it please if you do share it give it a thumbs up or a heart and let me know what you'd like to see next time. And have a wonderful week. See you soon.